hey, it's Emily, and today I want to talk about some top priority books for 2022. I meant to film this and post this in December, but a lot of videos that I wanted to happen in the second half of December just didn't happen. But I'm back from the holidays and back in the swing of things, so definitely excited to continue filming some of my end of year, beginning of year content. It'll just spill over a little bit into January, so. Um, anyway, but yeah, I'm excited to chat about some books that I think are going to be kind of top of my TBR uh, in 2022 that I really am hoping to read by the end of the year, so let's just jump right in. Um, one priority is definitely going to be making sure that I keep up with my book of the month selections and fairy loot books, and this will just be a general theme throughout the year, so nothing in particular because I don't know what the selections are going to be in the future, but that'll be a theme throughout the years trying to make sure that I am caught up on those or as caught up as I can be and try to keep up. And uh, yeah, I definitely have some of them piling up so that'll also be something that I'm doing in the near future is getting through some of those. Uh, but yeah, that'll be, that'll be a thing throughout the year. I think I'm going to be switching from the YA book box from Fairy Loot to their book only adult fantasy selection. Possibly they're starting to offer that in, I believe, March, and I might switch over. But anyway, another thing that I would like to do is read some of the climate fiction that I mentioned in the video that I made about <laughs> for this last year. Uh, and I haven't read them yet, so I've got, I'm not going to talk about what these individually are about, but I have um, Blackfish City, I have Goldfame Citrus, I've got the water knife, and I also have Orleans, and I can link some stuff below uh, of previous videos where I've talked about these in case you want more information about these. They've been on my TBR for so long, and I, I really, I'm very interested in them, and I just, I want to make sure that I actually get through them because they've been on my TBR, as I said, for quite a bit. So that's going to be another priority for this year. And another thing that I would like to do, third thing is kind of keep up with some worlds that I'm in the midst of. So for example, I'm in the middle of Robin Hobbs' Realm of the Elderling world, so I'm currently on Ship of Destiny, which is the third book in the second trilogy of this larger world. And in this one, you are following a huge cast of characters. Some are on land and, you know, there's kind of a, a palace court-ish setting and you also follow dragons, you follow what's going on on sea, and you follow these sentient ships and the families who run them and pirates and it's just a huge expansive world that is a ton of fun. And I also would love to keep going with the Grisha verse by Levar Digo. I've read the original Grisha trilogy that follows Elena Starkov who discovers that she has some magical abilities and needs to use those abilities to conquer the evil of the world, and I also have but have not yet read the Six of Crows duology, and I, I'm also considering reading the Nikolai duology. Uh, so this one it follows a different set of characters that are in a different part of the world, and I believe at a different time. And the Nikolai duology follows a character that we do meet in the original trilogy, but I'm not sure when it's set relative to the other uh, stories in the world. But anyway, I'd like to keep going with the Grisha verse. I also would love to keep going with the Dune Chronicles. So I read Dune late last year. I'd like to keep going with Dune, Messiah, and uh, the rest of the books by Frank Herbert. And the start of it follows the Atreides family as they uh, head to Dune uh, to kind of take over trade of a spice that is only grown on Dune, or only harvested on Dune. And it's so it's very politically important and they're kind of embroiled in a bunch of politics and I, I, I think the world expands a lot from there is my understanding but I would love to keep going with the Dune Chronicles and another thing that I would like to do is wrap up I made a five star predictions two five star prediction videos I'll also be sure to link those below from last year one was kind of a backlist TBR five star prediction video and then another set of things that I thought I would love and give five stars to that were 2021 releases. I would like to do something similar coming up but first I want to wrap up 
those videos and I need to read one book for each of those videos in order to wrap those up. So one is uh, I Need to Read Winter's Orbit by Everina Maxwell and this is a romance set in space that follows a political marriage and you know there's politics in space but also you fold a romance there. And then I also need to read Ancillary Justice by Anne Leckie in order to wrap up the backlist uh, five-star prediction list. And I don't know much about this series, I just have heard that if you like Becky Chambers and politics in your sci-fi that this would be a series for you to check out. And I love Becky Chambers, I love politics in my sci-fi and fantasy books, so I'm very hopeful. Uh, so I want to be able to wrap those videos up. I also would like to read some graphic novels this year. I really do have, en have enjoyed quite a few that I've read, and so I'd love to continue on with the ones that I have. I have On a Sunbeam by Tilly Walden, and I also have everything that's currently out in Saga. Uh, so I would love to read both of these, and I think these are both sci-fi romance graphic novels. Um, so I, I would definitely love. So I would love to pick those up. I also want to continue some series. So, and I think I mentioned this one last time as well. I would love to continue with the Broken Earth trilogy by N.K. Jemisin and read the Obelisk Gate and the Stone Sky. And this series follows a world where there are. Uh, there are seasons and it's kind of these geologic tectonic events that happen. There are people with magic who can help control these events in these seasons but their magic is very feared and it, there, there's a lot going on. Um, but I enjoyed the first book and would love to continue on with that series. I also want to continue with a couple of fantasy romance series including uh, the Accord of Thorns and Roses series. I just need to read the last most recent release and that one that follows a side character from the main series that follows Nesta and so I need to read A Court of Silver Flames by Sarah J Maas and then I also want to keep going with the From Blood and Ash series by Jennifer L. Armentrout which follows uh, which follows Poppy who's just kind of a politically important person. She has a guard, falls in love with her guard. Anyway, the first one was fun so I want to continue on and the last thing I'm going to talk about are some series that I would like to start, maybe finish, but at the very least to get into. And I have a few to talk about. One is another thing that I've had for a long time on my physical TBR. And I, I just, I'm curious, and they've been sitting here a long time. I really just want to get them read. And that is the Pebble in the Dark series by Anthony Body. And I actually won the trilogy in a Twitter giveaway and they've been sitting on my shelf ever since and I really just I want to read these. I was curious but I never thought I would actually win the giveaway but lo and behold um, yeah I have them so I would like to read them. I'm not I don't remember exactly what this series is about but I would like to read those. Um, I also would like to I have I think at least four of the books in the uh, Furies of Calderon series by Jim Butcher. And this follows a world where there is elemental magic and there are fights between the forces of good and evil, I think. I, I just, I would like to get into this series and I've been collecting some of them as I've been finding them at used bookstores. Um, and so I really would like to actually get started with this series and, and see how I like it and if I want to continue on with it. And the last thing I'll mention is the Second Era Mistborn series, the Wax and Wayne series by Brandon Sanderson. I don't have audio or physical copies of this and this is the only thing on this list I think that I, I don't have in some form or another. I'm trying to get my physical TBR in particular down, but this is an exception because the fourth book is going to be coming out later this year. I absolutely loved the first Era Mistborn series. I feel like I'm really going to enjoy the second Era one as well from what I've heard. And the, the fourth and I believe final one is coming out this year. And so I would like to continue reading Brandon Sanderson, but I, I would like to read this series before I start the Stormlight Archives. And so I would like to read that series this year and then next year work on the Stormlight Archive series in preparation for the fifth one 
coming out. And so, yeah, I want to focus on this Born Era 2 this year uh, for my Brandon Sanderson reads. So that is it for this list. And of course, I'm hoping to read so many more books uh, than just the ones on this list, but those are some high priority ones uh, that I'm focusing on as I'm trying to get my physical TBR down. And thank you so much for watching. Let me know what's higher on your priority list for this year. I would absolutely love to know. And I'll be sure to link my Twitter and Instagram link down below. That's where I like to hang out. And I will also leave more information about how you can support the Black Lives Matter movement. And I will see you in the next one. Bye everyone.